Hi, my name is Colin Skipperwing Bird, and welcome to a special subset of Skipperwing Draws a Thing, process videos for the Crimson Fly animated comic strip. Just so you know, um, links for a silent version of this video can be found in the um, cards and description in case you would like to see this process video without the commentary. Today's strip, issue 4, strip number 53. Almost done! I think there's like two more strips left in this story, and then we're done. Um, and this strip was interesting because it's another one of those to animate or not to animate strips. Most of this is dialogue. A lot of the action has kind of passed. So... There's not really much reason to animate stuff, and I think that that's one of the biggest uh, faults that you can run into with an animated comic strip, is that you don't want to animate simply for the sake of having animation, because then it comes off as very cheap and very, uh, blah. That's not a word, but that's the only thing I could think of at the moment. Um, and I think that's why a superhero comic or a shonen comic works great for animated comics, because there's always going to be a lot of visual dynamism for uh, and reason for things to have to move that's not to say that you couldn't do it in another um in another um genre but superhero and shonen comics make it a lot easier to find reasons to make things move um strip number 53 was also very interesting because uh um there were parts that could have moved but didn't like the opening and the uh Parts that didn't really need to move, but they did. Um, like the speech bubbles in panel 3, or the sirens wailing in, uh, in panel 5. Um, and admittedly, part of this is because uh, I started the strip late, later than I should have. Uh, I started it probably the Saturday before it was due, which is never really the best sign. Um, and I was lucky in this instance. Um, I think if I had um, failed then I would have had to have pushed the strip back to next week, which doesn't really do me any favors. Um, but luckily, mostly a dialogue-heavy strip, so not a lot to do. Well, that's not true. There was a lot to do. And it wasn't really helped by Flash crashing. But we got it through, we got it done, and it was all good. Um, something else that helped with this strip was a lot of the animation cheats that I used. Rather than going through my regular process of... Uh, of well, um, animating everything and using the the comic strip as a sort of concept art template. Um, in this instance, what I decided to do instead was um, use the elements that were already pre-existing in the strip and just do that instead. So, for example, with um, strip two, I put the crimson fly and his arm on separate layers, so that would be easier just to just um, squash and distort the character rather than having to redraw everything. And that made for a really easy and interesting cheat. In fact, the hardest part of that, strip, that panel was, was setting up the replay, which eh, wasn't that hard when you think about it. Well, okay, it's not that hard for me now that I have a process going. Um, what was actually interesting about the panel too was the fact that it stops in the middle to go to the next portion. And that was... Well, it's basically telling the, that particular panel to stop right there and then move forward. So, um, yeah. I might do some more of those kinds of panels in the future. But for the time being, I think we're just going to let the um, let the comic work as is. Mostly because trying to have panel buttons pop in and out kind of convolutes the process. And it's not really fun for either the readers or for me to, to program. Um... Uh, let's see, what's next? Panel 5. Panel 5 was interesting because I played with, uh, just as I used the, the pre-existing elements to, uh, to make, um, their, and then Flash crashed it again. Just as I used the pre-existing elements in Panel 2 to make the animation for that, I decided to use the pre-existing elements in Panel, um, 5 to make the, uh, the animation for that panel. I don't think it worked as well as I would have liked, mostly because the, the siren noises feel kind of flat rotating around the, uh, the, uh, the siren. I mean, well, around the ambulance. But, what do you, I think it was a pretty clever try now, and I don't know, maybe I'll get better at doing it later.
And that's it for today's video. If you want to see this strip in its true format, please click the links in the annotations and cards. If you're new, please like and subscribe for more content. This is Colin Skipperwing Bird signing out. I'll catch you peeps later.